Okay, guys, a pizza puff is cooking. So what I have here is some ragu sauce. I put some Italian herb seeds, some garlic, some onion powder, a little bit of uh, pepper, all complete seasoning, and I mix that up. And then um, this is the rest of the ground beef. So what we're going to do, because I don't want all them pizza puff, we're just going to go ahead and make a little small lasagna. So in here I have the... Uh, pre-cooked uh, lasagna noodles. I put some cheese at the bottom. I layered it. And we're going to put some ground beef. And we're just going to turn the rest of this into a little small ground beef because I don't want uh, all these pizza puffs. So it's like normally when I do that, I'll do like tacos and then I say the other half for like lasagna or something. So I normally will put some ricotta cheese in here, but I don't have any. So I'm just utilizing what I have so lasagna is real easy to cook you cook this like you would cook like ground beef and drain the oils out and then add your ragu or if you're gonna do homemade and I like the pre-cooked uh, lasagna noodles so I got the pre-cooked lasagna noodles so I wet my um, pre-cooked so I add a little American cheese on oh, my pizza puffs. I got to check on them, y'all. We don't want them to burn, right? Okay. Now, you know, when you deep frying them, you get that nice golden but i'm trying to stay away from a lot of the deep fried stuff guys y'all know i'm trying to work on that work on that work on that so and then i just do these different little recipes so this one i'm not even going to uh cook it right away so meaning i'm just gonna let this kind of sit yeah it'll sit like wrap it with some shrink wrap and let it sit in the refrigerator because this, you know, it's almost like eating the same thing. I won't eat this the same day as I'm eating pizza puff, if that makes sense. So no, this, I'm not even going to eat this today. So then we're going to lay another noodle on top. So yeah, I'm not going to eat this today. I wait another day. But I just have it pre ready to go in the oven. But it's not going to go in the oven now because we're already going to eat pizza puffs today. So this would be too much. It's almost like eating the same thing. Like if you uh, have seafood, you know, you don't want to turn around the next day and have seafood again. So I always kind of mix it up like that. Okay, I need another noodle. Where are my noodles at? Oh, here they go. And I like the little glass plants because you could see kind of what's going on. Yeah, I'm trying to be mindful. I'm trying to be mindful not to let the pizza puff burn, okay? So I like to pre-wet my noodles. Even though they're done, I just I just like to do that. Okay. So we're gonna add some more of this so it can be nice and juicy. You don't want your sauce all dried out. So the pre-cooked lasagna noodles, they have them in the grocery store. Okay, I'm gonna put a little garlic, get that flavor in there, and then we're gonna add a little Italian herb season on this layer. Okay. We're going to add the layer on top. Red 
sauce. Okay. All right. Put this cheese on. And then it'd just be me eating this stuff or my neighbor, my baby. He don't eat a lot of this stuff like this sometimes, but with his job, when he be so busy, he don't get a lot of this. By the time he come around, I make him some fresh. Italian herb season on top, a little partially, and then I will shrink wrap this because remember, we're not going to eat this. This is not going to get ate today at all. This is just, this is just, when I cook the ground beef, I don't like to unthaw half and this and that and that, so I just go ahead and turn it into two separate meals so when the time come so this I'm not gonna eat now I'm gonna get some shrink wrap but you see it and we're gonna put this in a refrigerator and just let it be and in a couple days this one I'll eat but not now I don't want it now yeah I just like to a lot of times I like to have my stuff prepared and ready to go kind of just like if you'll go to the grocery store and get a frozen lasagna okay yeah, the same soup, but reheated. And I'm just going to shrink wrap this and let it sit. I'm not comfortable to put my shrink wrap, I mean, this glass bowl in a freezer. I, I'm not for sure when I got this, if it's freezer safe and all this, I'm not going to risk it breaking. So we're not going to put this in the um, freezer at all. We're just gonna leave this and remember the the pre-cooked lasagna noodles the ground beef is cooked ready so this we're not gonna eat yet but when you're ready to eat it it's it'll be prepared just like normally they freeze it so if you want to so probably like um i'll say like monday or tuesday i'll eat that if it was gonna be longer then i will dump it out of that wrap it and freeze it meaning if i'm not gonna be eating it no time soon so that's that and we're gonna check out the pizza puff next too